This is Mario Stolz from Eneo, and today I will show you how you can improve your productivity by using map keys and adding them to the crew interface. So what is a map key? A map key is a recording of screen clicks and keyboard inputs inside crew that can be saved to be reused inside crew at a later stage on parts, assemblies and drawings. So to create a map key, you go to file options and under the environment, you'll find the option to create your map key. So we need to specify the keyboard shortcut to activate this map key. So as an example, I'll type in FSS or let's say file, save step file and the name that will be shown inside crew will be save a step option and my description. So the description will be the pop-up menu that will show when you move your mouse over that. So I can then give that description and I'll say save this file as a step file. Okay, next step is to record my sequences. So to activate that, I click on record and I can go and say file, save a copy, browse to my step option and click on OK. I'll override the existing file and that has now created my step file. So I can stop the map key recording and click on OK. And that's now my map key. So to test that, if I go into my explorer, let's say we go and open up that folder. So I've got the file. So if I delete that file as a test and we run the map key again, so we type in F SS on the keyboard, see it flashed. If I go back, there it's now saved my new step file. So next step is to then add that into my interface. So that's fairly simple. You right click on the in graphics toolbar, your ribbon, and it will show the options. So there's the default options. You now have the option in Crew 5 to also add a common one that will be shown in all the different interfaces of the software, so parts, assemblies, and drawings. So if I click on the common one, you can go and change the name of that. So you can give it your company name or any name. And that will then show in the common tab, you can add your own additional groups to that. So if you want to group items together, so let's add a new group and you can also change the name of those groups. So let's say we want to change the name for all my internal ones so we'll rename this to let's say internal map keys and we'll change the other one to external okay so if i go to the left hand side and change that to my map keys you'll see the map key in the option i can drag and drop that into my interface if i right click on that i can change the size so i want to show it as a large button and I can also change the display of that. So as a default, you can right click on the actual icon and go to the button on options. You can choose an image, you can choose from existing. So it will show you some default icons that's available inside the software. So you can pick one. So if I wanna change this icon to look something similar to my normal save icon, I can go down and find an icon inside my customization window as well. So let's say we go find the save icon. I can also copy it from another icon, go to this one and paste it. So it will show the same as my save. If you want to go and create your own icon, you can go into the edit mode where you can change it. You can create anything inside that interface. So let's say we want to add some text just to indicate that this will be my step file. So you can go and draw your own icon. If I click on OK, it will apply that. And if I close the window, it is now an icon inside my crew interface. So if I click on that, it will go and run the map key and create the step file. So what if you want to call up an application from external? You could also do that inside crew. So if I go back to my map keys, let's uh, use my shortcut. I go to my map keys. And I want to create a new one that will start up an external application. So let's say we want to start the calculator. So I'll call it file SC for file save or file start calculator. 
start calculator and the description I'll just make the same and so from Windows and instead of recording it I can now go to my script option so only thing you need to do is go and browse to the location of the exe that you want to use so in this instance it's a standard windows command so i'll find all of those inside my windows system 32 folder and if i go down to the files and there's my calculator so that's what i need to enter in that field so i can copy that link paste it in there and add calc.exe to that and okay so let's test that if i run that map key it starts up my calculator so we can also go and add that to the system so always when you create a map key save that to your config.pro file as well so i'll save that to my config.pro and if i go back and customize the ribbon let's say we go back to the map keys again there's my calculator one i can drag and drop that make it a large icon i can also load an image from external so let's say you've saved something downloaded an image let's say we want to use that image off a calculator i can import that if the image is too big it will be scaled to a 32 by 32 icon and there's the icon inside my interface so this way you can easily create your own commands to start up external tools directly from Q. thank you for watching the steps and tricks if you need more information feel free to contact us for more help thank you